Recently, I've been putting a lot of extra time and effort into working on my health. So I wanted to make this video and take you guys through some little habits I have every day to try and make myself healthier and better. I've never been a person who enjoys having breakfast, but I do recognize that it is important for a healthy lifestyle. So I've been having some chicken soup that I made myself with some egg mixed in just for something full. And then I have some yogurt with some frozen fruit in because it's sweet enough to enjoy, but not too sweet to be unhealthy. I allow my meal to fully digest and then I take myself for a walk near our apartment. I'm very lucky to live in such a beautiful area. I can walk here in about an hour. It's a good length of time. The only issue is when it rains, you can really tell that the ground is completely ruined. So it did rain yesterday. My shoes are still covered in dirt, but it's not the end of the world. I get out, I get some fresh air, I get some sunshine. A lot of people prefer to do their skincare as soon as they wake up. But I like to do it after I come back from my walk because I get really sweaty. So I just like to clean myself off, start the day fresh, and take care of myself. I don't do lots of complicated skincare, but I do enough. Now my favorite time of the day when my husband comes home from work. I made us dinner, and you can see that we both take vitamins, and I take a lot. I know people often say you should just change your diet and not your food, but it really does help me. I take fish oil, iron, vitamin D, COQ10, and an extra vitamin for my hair. A little after dinner, I like to have some soy milk. I have black soy milk half the time with added black sesame seeds, and then other times I just have normal soy milk, depending on where I am in my menstrual cycle. I also love these jujubes with walnuts in them. I got them at Costco a little while ago, and I never liked jujube that much, but having them like this is the best. Before I go to sleep, I try and get some yoga in. I don't do yoga to lose weight. I just like to do it to have some time to relax, to connect with my body, and time to meditate and think. After my body is relaxed and warmed up from yoga, I like to do something called dry brushing. Some people say it doesn't actually do anything and it's not worth it, but it does feel nice and help with my dry skin. I end the night with taking care of myself, washing my face, brushing my teeth, all that good stuff. That's honestly the hardest thing to be consistent with, but I try my best and then already in bed. I'm a night person, but I try and sleep before midnight.